In this video, we'll talk about the state of the new and used car market in the United States, and we'll talk about it from a variety of different lenses, inclusive of inventory and pricing and the state of the consumer, and of course, repair orders as well. Before we go into a lot of this data, and this data is as of December 2021, don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and let's get into it. We'll start off by talking about the subject matter of inventory. Inventory, as we all know, has been on a steady decline in 2021. But the good news was in December of 2021, the tides were shifting on this particular area slightly, okay? Used vehicle inventory rose in December with the day's supply hitting 51 for the first time since January of 2021. So the way this whole thing works is when you have incremental day supply, that basically means there's more inventory on dealer lot. Day supply began and dropping last January, bottoming out at 30 in April and inching its way higher ever since. But here is where the rubber hits the road or the downside of this whole thing. Day supply at the end of December was nearly four days below the December 2020 levels. What that basically means is that inventory is slowly but surely starting to creep up. But with that said, it is still low on a historical basis. So when it comes to pricing, the average listing for a used vehicle is at $28,000, which obviously is a new record. The average used vehicle listing price was up 28% at the end of December compared with a year earlier and 42% higher than at the end of 2019. Wholesale used vehicle prices on a mix, mileage, and seasonally adjusted basis increased 0.8% at the first 15 days of January compared to the month of December. So the key takeaway as it relates to pricing is that the situation continues to be fairly bleak. While there is more inventory in dealer lots, it is not enough to move the needle and there is significant shortage still relative to the amount of demand that is out there due to which the prices of these vehicles continues to soar. Now let's pivot a little bit and talk about repair orders. So the reason why repair orders is very important is because it would effectively mean that if repair orders continues to increase, it would show or denote that people are continuing to invest Invest more on their existing vehicle. In December, the repair order volume index was up 2.6% month over month from November at 87.9 and up 3.3% from December of 2020, but down 6.4% from December of 2019. So this is kind of an interesting fact pattern, right? Because this data is effectively suggesting that repair orders are going up, but they're still not as high as they used to be back in December of 2019. The natural reaction in this particular scenario one would expect is that repair orders would climb during the global health crisis, but that is not necessarily the case that people are seeing. The question becomes why? And the short answer is really this. Lately, owners are delaying service more because of concerns over costs rather than fewer miles being driven. The average revenue generated per repair order rose to the sixth straight month. So what that basically means is that the cost of repairing a vehicle is also soaring. Dealers are charging more on the cost of repair due to which their revenue continues to do just fine. Now that we've talked about inventory, we've talked about pricing, let's pivot a little bit and let's talk about the state of the consumer. The state of the consumer in the car related business is a very important thing because it provides an early indicator of some potential issues in the overarching state of the economy because people are obviously taking on loans when it comes to purchasing a vehicle. So they start seeing an incremental amount of delinquencies when it comes to paying off a lot of these loans. It is an early indicator that maybe things are not quite going as well as one would expect with the overarching economy. The over 60 day delinquencies increased in December for the seventh month in a row and were up 4.4% year over year. In December, 1.45% of auto loans were severely delinquent, which was an increase from 1.36% in November and the highest severe delinquency rate since May of 2020. What this basically is referencing is perhaps due to the fact that some of the government programs have effectively come down, people are not necessarily able to afford some of these vehicles that they have purchased. So generally speaking, when it comes to the overarching state of the consumer, things are starting to trend a little downward. Now let's talk a little bit about the new car market. New vehicle inventory, particularly for domestic automakers, continue to climb, exceeding 1 million units near the end of December, according to Cox Automotive Analysis of VAU 
auto available inventory data, prices also kept rising, setting new records with the average listing price exceeding $45,000. So this, generally speaking, is very similar to what we were talking about earlier with the used car market, right? Inventory is starting to slowly but surely trend upwards. But with that said, there is absolutely no breaks when it's coming to the price of these vehicles and they're continuing to soar. So what are the key takeaways as it relates to all of this? Inventory for both new and used vehicles is continuing to rise, but unfortunately, it's just not good enough. And until this chip shortage basically alleviates itself, which is still projected to be towards the latter half of 2022, we can continue to see inventory to slowly but surely rise, but not at enough of a level to make an impact when it comes to the consumer. Two, pricing for both new and used vehicles continues to rise. Three, the cost of repairs for used vehicles is continuing to increase as well. Some of this obviously has some inflationary component associated with it as well. And fourthly, while there is a lot of good news out there about how consumer uh, spending and personal savings rate are continuing to increase this, that, and the other, there are some early indicators that there is some potential problems here. Anyway, hopefully the contents of this in video proved to be informed. If you enjoy the contents of this video, remember to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.